I just want to take a quick time to give you a market update. It's coming up to late April uh, 2010, and a lot of people have questions about what's going to happen with the property market, what's happening with the share market. You know, it's hard to believe only a year ago in the midst of a, a global financial crisis that Australia was heading into what looked like a severe recession. And a lot of uh, so called experts were claiming that uh, the Australian real estate market was going to crash by up to 40%. Professor Stephen King, Neil Jevon, people like that. And I come out then and yeah, wrote many articles and it was on radio basically saying, I do not believe that will happen. The Australian real estate market will not crash uh, significantly. It's more likely to rise uh, significantly before it will crash. Now, here we've won a wide fraud year in 2010, and everyone now knows that it's true the property market in Australia has grown significantly um, and growing rapidly. So much now that with the population growth in 2015, I'm a very bullish on the Australian property market. However, I agree with uh, Glenn Stevens, the Reserve Bank, that if it continues to grow at this rapid pace, that it could create a property bubble. But definitely don't think property is going to be cheaper in five or ten years in Australia if you know the property market is losing out big time. I'm also a big buyer of land at the moment. Uh, one of my mentors many years ago said, Jamie, the, the key to creating wealth is to buy a lot of land and just sit on it for 30 or 40 years. Uh, the challenge for doing that for a lot of people is that you need to pay the interest or not have any income on land. But there's some unique ways to get around that, which if you check out uh, some of our free property events, Property Direct, uh, to visit propertydirect.com.au, you can get some free tickets and learn out how we overcome that. I'm also a big fan of rural land. I'm not suggesting go out and buy farms, but I've bought a lot of farms over the last five or six years because I agree with one of the wealthiest fund managers in the world uh, that said it'll be the farmers driving the Lamborghinis in the future, not the investment bankers because of the massive food crisis that's coming uh, in Australian rural land is quite cheap and that's a long term investment that I'm happy to be involved in plus it's a hobby of course for me. The share market is going well and Australia we're very fortunate with the Australian economy. We have the best economy in the world as far as the Western country which I also talked about because we're lucky we ride off the move of China to a rural developed country where the rest of the Western economies are probably going into decline in the future uh, because of China and Asia we can ride off that and we have a very uh, bright future out of the Australian economy over the next 20, 30, 40 years. So certainly take advantage of that. There is no excuse not to track the wall. And any environment can more millionaires made out of a, uh, a recession uh, than often in you know, a boom time. So there's no excuse ever. Take advantage, get out there, make things happen, and enjoy it. It's an extraordinary holiday.